Okay, so this is paragraph 4D. It's called generalizing arithmetic, but in fact, I can say that this is more broadly called forming expressions. So I would say this is about forming expressions. This would be a second title to this, which I think for me, forming, yes, exactly, we're in 4D, uh, forming expressions. So effectively, what are we doing here? Eyes on the board. What are we doing here? We are finding how to write something using algebra. So taking a whole sentence, let me zoom in and show you, taking a whole sentence like, what is the cost of X bananas at 30 cents each? So this is a, a very long sentence. We don't like doing this in maths. We don't like having a very long sentence. No one wants to write this down. The cost of X bananas at 30 cents each. Too long. You've lost me already. Well, not quite, but you're sort of along the lines now. The name is, um, let me zoom out again. It's generalizing arithmetic or forming expressions. And indeed, my name is Constantine. Yes, thanks for reminding us. Okay, so now the cost of X bananas is 30 cents each. Let me give you uh, something else to think about. What if you have one banana? How much does it cost? Excellent. What about two bananas? Ah, how did you get that? Ah, okay. What if you have 132 bananas? Tell me what you would do. You would do 132 times 30. Excellent. What about X bananas? One times 30. If uh, you calculated the, the previous one, right? That would be 396, but with a zero afterwards. Yeah. Right? You're talking about this one here, I think. Oh. Still talking about this one, right? Yeah, no problem. So oh. he's saying he wants to calculate this, but you would have to put the zero afterwards. Right. And then this one, if you want to calculate it, you don't have to. We don't have to calculate things here. We're trying to do something else. We will be writing down an expression like these ones. But now we have this problem here. We have X bananas. I don't know how many. I know that there are X. Now, each of them cost 30 cents. How can I write down what the result will be? You can't. Well, let me go back to the previous examples. One banana is just one times 30, if you like. Two bananas is two times 30. 132 bananas is 132 times 30. X times 30. X is how many bananas you have. X bananas times how much does each of them cost? 30. So we could say it's X times 30. It's simple as that. But now comes the killing move. The killer move, right? Yes. <coughs> Eyes on the board. I don't know why you're looking. You seem like you're looking at it. You're fine. I'm pretty sure you're not doing that. It was your phone. All right, please. It's not your phone. Okay, so it was something else. All right, X times 30. How do you simplify this? We've seen the rule. What do we do? 30X. Excellent. That's it. So this becomes 30X. Remember what we said. We said the times disappears and we bring the number in front. So this becomes 30X. So the final bit is the smiley face. And this concludes the question. Basically, it's 30x. That's it. What's this? Yes. Yeah. Only a number, no letters. Well, yes, absolutely. Feel free. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. These are some examples up here, right? I just gave you some examples to kind of help you understand. You don't have to do all of this stuff up here, obviously. The only question you had is this. So you could say it's X times 30 or 30 times X, but the simplest and laziest way possible would be 30X. We don't even put the times there. Too late. Yes, it will be wrong because X30 is considered as if like saying bon gia, like this. Okay. Yeah, is that correct? No. no. So basically, this is considered as wrong as this one. Okay. Right? So it's, it's just wrong. We don't consider this to be correct if you have the letter and then the number. If you have the letter and then times the number, that's still okay. 
But uh, if you put it like this, it's completely wrong. All right, moving on to what about the last question, guys? I promise. I know some of you are a bit uneasy. They're, they're banging on the desk. Hang in there. Almost done. The change from $50 when buying Y books at $6 each. Bear with me. Let's break this down into two sections. Now, how much does it cost to buy Y books at $6 each? Y books? Six Y. Brilliant. Amazing. You know then that this is how much it costs is six Y because it would be Y times six or Y six would become six Y. Right now, what they're saying is this. We will pay 50. So there you go. We'll give you 50. We'll give you 50 to buy this. What is the change? So the change would be I pay. Then we remove the part that is for the books and then we give you back your money. The rest of it. So what would be the answer here? How can we write the change from 50 when buying these pink books here? It's going to be a little bit tricky, this one. Oh, seeing it for the first. Excellent. Oh. Get a reward point for this. Excellent work. So you oh. said, well, we paid 50. We paid 50, right? But from that 50, they will take away the 6Y, which is for the books. And they will give us back the rest so this is the change this is the the how do you say troco yes the troco is you pay and you get back some this is what you get back so let's clarify what happened here we paid 50 there you go that's 50. from that 50 they will take away the cost of the books which was six y so they do 50 minus six y so this is the change so change let me write it down here how do you spell troco it's t -e does it take accent to see complexion? So let me stop the recording and come around to see how everyone's doing here.